here we are in the Azores. Uh, just left the beautiful island of Flores there. Lovely sunny day, nice wind, pretty much ideal sailing conditions, and a good opportunity to show you how you know, cheap the tiller steering. Uh, we've got the wind coming from the quarter now, so that's always a difficult point to steer. We've got the wind from the quarter, we've got waves from the quarter, so we tend to get this corkscrewing motion where we get pushed one way and another. Uh, but this copes really well with it. What we've got is our bungee uh, going right across. Uh, there are other arrangements possible. Now, it's important when we set up the bungee to have the bungee pulling the tiller slightly to leeward. If we end up going downwind because a, a wave has pushed us there, we want the tiller over to bring us back onto the wind. What we want to avoid at all costs is an accidental dive. Uh, it's good practice to put a preventer on anyway, and that helps to uh, stop the boot swinging around so much. Now, you can see we've, we've headed up into the wind just slightly, only about 10 degrees or so, and then that puts more wind into the jib, so that will power up our control line here, pulling over on the tiller and will bring us back on course. Uh, because of the size of the head sail, putting the tiller, uh, the sheet directly on the tiller, while that's possible uh, and it's um, ideal for a, a smaller car, uh, some kind of way of reducing the tension is useful. And what I've used is our Stella here. This lever, which we call our sheet tension lower and lever arrangement, it just enables us to take a portion of the uh, sheet load. This might not be the ideal solution uh, for a boat, you just have to look at the layout of the, the sheeting arrangements. On this boat, we had turning blocks on each combing. Now, we've taken away the fixed turning blocks and got turning blocks mounted on a lever. We had to have that arrangement to give it a, a fair lead going on to the, uh, on to the winch. Uh, the great thing about this is we can adjust the, uh, the sheets, uh, the, the trim of the sails, uh, by using the winch there and it's not affecting the connection onto the tiller. So it makes life a bit easier for us. Once we've got the um, bungee pulling to leeward, we need to balance the right amount of helm uh, there will be a little bit of weather helm um, in order to keep us on a on a straight line. And we do that. We can do that by pulling the uh, the attachment point of the control line to come to move along the tiller. So if we need more power, we can push more forward. If we find it's overpowering, we can slide it back down the tiller. And that's really about all there is to it. See now we've gone a little bit downwind, so we've lost our sheet tension and our bungee we're pulling the tiller over as we're turning us back on course. There you go, perfectly on course again. Uh, and we're going to carry on for the next 150 miles like this, uh, and we'll only stop then because that's uh, that's the next island. <laughs>